Mistake number one, never push your front teeth with your tongue. It can push your teeth outwards, giving you gaps or even buck teeth. The right spot for the tip of your tongue is right behind the front teeth, right on the incisive papilla. Mistake number two, pressing harder on one side. Make sure you're pressing up on the upper palate evenly with both the left and right side of your tongue. If you don't, you might end up with a lopsided or asymmetrical face. Mistake three, not swallowing correctly. Now here's the deal with swallowing. You roll food into a ball with your tongue, not your cheeks, and push it to your throat. Here's how Dr. Mew describes it. There's, there's nothing to it, really. Just pull the tongue back for the tongue to do a bit of a dance in your mouth as you suck everything up onto the roof top. And that's all there is to it. You can move the tongue around, wave, feel, just get back down, and then sweep everything back. As Dr. Mew added, we should use only the tongue to move the foods in the mouth instead of lips area muscles to avoid puffy face and get hollow cheeks. Mistake four, grinding your teeth. Keep it light when your teeth touch each other. Your upper teeth should sit just a smidge in front of your lower teeth and please don't grind them against each other. Too much grinding can permanently damage your teeth. Mistake five, letting bad posture slide. Posture is what you actually want to achieve, but changing posture is changing you. Function's what you do, posture is who you are, it's you, and it's very hard to change who you are. Bad body posture messes up your tongue posture too. Dr. Mew's advice to solve and prevent this problem is doing daily chin tucks.